In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, you heard of my former way of life in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it and progress in Judaism, beyond many of my contemporaries among my race, since I was even more a zealot for my ancestral traditions. But when he who from my mother's womb had set me apart and called me through his grace was pleased to reveal his son to me so that I might proclaim him to the Gentiles, I did not immediately consult flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me. Rather, I went into Arabia and then returned to Damascus. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to confer with Cephas and remain with him for 15 days. But I did not see any other of the apostles, only James, the brother of the Lord, as to what I am writing to you. Behold, before God, I am not lying. Then I went into the regions of Syria and Cilicia, and I was unknown personally to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. They only kept hearing that the one who once was persecuting us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy. So they glorified God because of me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Guide me, O Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O Lord, you have proved me, and you know me. You know when I sit, when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest, you scrutinize with all my ways. You are familiar. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Truly, you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I gave you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. My soul also knew full well, nor was my frame unknown to you when I was made in secret, when I was fashioned in the depths of the earth. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Please stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Why did Jesus favor Mary in our Gospel, my dear friends? He favored her for the simple reason that she gave her time to Him. And she listened to Him. And Mary knew that before He was, He is God. And she was, would not let this precious moment pass her without giving him her dear. Many of us, my dear friends, would chase many temporal things in this world. We are too worried about ano nga ba ang mararating ko bukas? Ano nga ba ang aking pagkain mamaya? Ano nga ba ang aking isusuot ko mamaya? We spend a lot of time achieving our worldly dreams thinking that this would make us complete. Like Martha, who is very anxious, Lord, tell my sister Mary, iniwan niya ako dito in preparing all of these things at nag-iisa ako. And my Mary, and Mary is sitting there listening to you. And only to know later that it will not suffice the Lord. We will even end up empty having all of these things, my dear friends. Why? Because all of these things are temporary. All of these things will fade away. Jesus, in our gospel, would only ask us one thing, and that is for us to give our time and for us to listen to Him, to give our ears. We make Jesus very happy, my dear friends, if we first listen to Him and leave everything else behind Him. When we encounter Jesus in our life, we are ready to, to give up everything. Let us remember, my dear friends, that when the time comes that we are lying on our deathbeds, we will not think of these temporal achievements that we have. For example, our riches, the awards, the citations, and so forth. Around that time, we will long for no one except for the presence of Jesus in our life. Let us be merry in our gospel. We have chosen the better parts. And if we have chosen the better part, it will not be taken away from us. Amen. Please stand. The active love of the good Samaritan is a balance by contempt contemplative love of Mary who sat beside Jesus to listen to Him. May our life be a combination of contemplation and action. In every petition we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May the people of God appreciate the contemplative life of consecrated women who help the church and all mankind to experience a spousal relationship with God by consecrating themselves to Him. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May those who immerse themselves in work not ignore the better part, which is to sit at the feet of Jesus and take their rest while listening to him, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May prayer and listening to God's word 
be part of our day so as to draw inspiration and strength for our many concerns, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we, like Martha, welcome Jesus in the person of those who come to us seeking company of or help in their need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we find among us many friends of Jesus, like Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, with whom we can feel at home and enjoy conversation, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our own intentions. We pray for the urgent concerns and needs of our community, and we pray for those people whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, Jesus enjoyed the company of his disciples and his intimate friends. We thank you for our friends and neighbors who, living in our midst, reflect your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously completes and sanctifying work, by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company of choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, 
Make holy dirt for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirits upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we are the same. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, he said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity. In accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of 
Lord, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Father, God, the Father, Lord Jesus Christ, bring to life those who are the Please stand. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacraments which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consumed through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer for the sick. Loving Father, we pray for the healing touch of your Spirit to our brothers and sisters who are now suffering from illness or disease. In love and in prayer, we reach out to them 
so that we may bring your loving care, goodness, and kindness by being present in their time of need. May they be strengthened and consoled by the compassion of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, who has shown us the redemptive value of suffering, so that we may be able to offer and unite their suffering to that of Jesus, our Lord, through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Fiat. Amen. Amen. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Good morning and thank you for coming. Good morning, Father. For a crucifix, please kneel. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, true condition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious ones. Pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hand and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for a past benefit, and in the hope of receiving you blessings which you know I need in life. Deign, O dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace who dies in God loves our Lord. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.